Okay guys, this is Big Red 2014, and this episode is all about Mayans, Aztecs, and Incas from uh, the South American region. Enjoy the video, and stay tuned for an on look for the next two videos that are coming up soon. Japanese fashion, and the, Germany fa the German fashion. Until then, enjoy. So the Mayans, Aztecs, and Incas were separated in time and in geography. <clears throat> Their clothing is closely resembled to each other. But just like in G Egypt, children were usually naked. Men wore loincloths, but adding tunics or shirts and cloaks in the colder weather. The dress of a woman is more variable. <clears throat> the Mayan woman wore skirt, skirts with or without a scarf tied to cover their breasts. The Aztec and Inca women wore dresses made from wrapped pieces yeah. of fabric or ankle length tunic dresses. None of the clothing was cut to fit the body. Any holes needed for the head were left during the weaving process. The cloth was ready to wear straight off the limb, a weaving device. <clears throat> the fabric was used as a great importance among the Mayans, Aztecs, and Incas. Each culture, the type of cloth and the decoration applied to garments singled the wearer's status of society. Aztecs passed a law that forbade poor people from wearing cotton, and among the Incas were only wealthy to wear a specially woven cloth called kumbai, a fine soft cloth made from baby alpaca. Eh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Alpaca, alpaca wool that was <clears throat> valued as high as gold. Similarity, the clothes of the poorest members of the society were quite plain. Poor men, for example, wore silk full loyal cloths and cloaks woven from plant fiber with little or no decoration, while wealthy men were dressed in brightly colored and theoretically patterned clothes embellished with embroidery and embroidery Feathers or or gold shell something beads. Among the Inca woven fabric was as precious as gold. Uh, but that was like the Spaniards who invented it in the 1500s. The tradition of fabric making involved all the wealthiest members of the society. Cotton was grown by farmers, and wool was gathered by from trend herds of alpacas and llamas. Women of poorer classes were the women of poorer classes wore cloths needed to dress their families. But some women and religious women became weavers of the no for the noble classes. These professional weavers created eradicate cloth the called the Kumbai cloth, which was highly woven with geometric designs and many colors. It was also used as tax payment to the emperor and for ceremonial clothing. It was so important that it was worn by the emperor himself and his family. Importation of foreigners into the cultures of Mayans, Incas, and Aztecs eventually altered the trading, uh, traditional clothing style. The Mayan culture began to collapse for reasons yet to be discovered in, starting in 900 CE. When the other native group called the Toltecs came to power, the Mayan history club of their clothing has been pieced together from oral histories of, and from archaeological excavation, excavation or science digs. Aztecs, who rose to power about 1200 CE in the Valley of Mexico, which surrounds modern day Mexico City, abruptly changed their culture in 1521 when the Spaniards. Um, were forced to uh, that forced Aztecs to adopt the Spanish way of life. For Incas, uh, they were introduced a great Spanish also introduced a great change in for the Inca Empire, conquering the Inca Empire, Inca Emperor in 1572. Mayan Indians to uh, were to weave and embroider some of the same design. Motives 
that have been popular since the Colossal period, A.D. 50, um, 150 to 900. Like, ceremonial, cerama uh, ceramics, until fillet and wall murals show designs used in textiles, which include and had ideas from surroundings including hills, snakes, flowers, and wildlife. The Mayans use this as a uh, the sky band, they use that as bon active base is platforms or thrones in the cemetery is shown in the tunic of this design. Faces. His clothes include Toes jade were common in the Mayan pool, design, associated with rain and fertility. Fertility the in the lowlands the coming of the rain announced the toads in the croaking sound. They sing the, on the mouth of the Earth Lord's mountain cave. The uh, it's the, the Earth Lord's daughter's fluff cotton, which will be transformed by a bolt of lightning into rain clouds. Tones are believed to be the guardians of the rain god cave. They're back in the mines. Diamond, universe, and four corners. Diamonds are the shape and design that may be most common, like you see in everyday stuff. In a simple weaver and broader, the shape of the diamond represents the four corners of the Maya world. Each corner represents one of the four cardinal directions, north, south, east, west, like that. Inside the center is a smaller diamond or geometric shape that represents the sun. The crosses, the two X, represent four of the earth, north, south, east, and west, represents the world tree that branches and root through the layers of the universe. In many modern, in my uh, villages, the cross contains the protective powers that is placed at crosswords or crossroads or sacred areas of natural landscape. Zigzags symbolize Cerritos. Well, I, I don't know if I pronounce it right, but if I mispronounce it, I'm sorry. Little hills, Ukul, Swiggly, or be shot on path of a snake. Aztec women were held responsible for making the Aztec clothing. This was accomplished by first twisting cotton and fibers into a stick, which weighed it down with clay, spindle wool, or whorl, in order to make the thread. The, their example, their hint, hint, simple hand tools, they were able to use the stud to make clothes, cheese, and cakes, or wine cloths from them. Cakes were generally worn knotted over just a nut. The female Aztec dresses, on the other hand, consist of sleeveless blouses and long wrap around skirts. Aztec headdress was also made with this cloth containing. Knotted feathers created by the Aztec craftsmen. The Aztec jewelry was also important for the dress. In fact, the mountain decoration of the Aztec clothing indicates the wealth of the wearer. Favorite additions to Aztec Indian clothing include copper, silver, gold, turquoise, emerald, and jade. These stones were cut to use for Aztec clothing. With raw hide cord and a special type of brace of sand mixed with water. And, um, in our civilizations, Central South America, um, will pay careful attention to their personal cleanliness and created by many ornaments to beautify the body. Decoration among the Central South American groups indicates the social rank. The Aztecs took this idea very seriously and punished anyone wearing an article of clothing or decoration above his birthright or honorary right with death. So yeah, if you do something wrong in that, uh, back in the Aztec civilization. <coughs> Before enduring themselves, Mayans, Aztecs, and Incas all clean themselves thoroughly. Evidence suggests that Mayans use a steam bath to cleanse themselves. Aztecs wash themselves daily. Some bath twice each day in cold rivers and streams. Aztecs also enjoy a steam bath in the bathhouse, a dome building heated with a fireplace. 
The Incas also bathed fre frequently. The wealthiest and the wealthiest were soaked in steaming mineral water pipes in their own private bath houses from hot springs. Once clean, these early Americans adorned themselves with very to verify in different ways. Some body decorations were permanent. They squeezed the skulls of most privileged infants between two boards and flattened their heads to try to promote cross eyes from by hanging a ball from the children's fangs in the center of their forehead. Yikes! Mayan kings and noblemen or aristocrats bore holes in the front of their teeth and inserted decorative pieces of stone, especially green jade or glossy black Outside it, I am, which comes from the, halt, the molten lava. Mayans file points on their teeth to make their mouths look more appealing. And the, after marriage, some Mayans apply tattoos to the face and body. Well, before I go on, uh, file points on their teeth makes them look like a vampire. That's my opinion. If you're if that was when your mind's was. That's there. Who's there? Okay, then. Alright, back. Sorry. What? Sorry about that. I'm in the dark outside. The most successful Aztec warriors insert plugs shaped like animals and plants. While less skilled warriors insert planar shells and simple discs. Uh, into their lips. Wealthy and honored Inca men earn the nickname or Jones or Big Ears from Spaniards with for the large disc made of gold, silver, or wood they insert it into stretched silk lit in their ear earlobes. Those for some odd reason popular today. Matt all right. Body painting. Less permanent decorations such as body paint were done for special occasions to mark the status of the wearer. Mayan uh, warriors painted their faces and bodies with black and red colors. Priests painted themselves blue. Many Aztec women just to emphasize keeping themselves clean, other errs as conscious women and companions of war soothed yellow earth or Yellow wax onto their faces, dyed their feet, painted their hands and neck to erratic designs. Inca women did not paint themselves, but much like the Mayans, Inca warriors and priests used paint to paint their faces, arms, and legs to indicate the fact. Here we go with the jewelry again. Julia's jewelry was worn by the Aztec Mayan Inca people, was rich in quite beautiful. Without metalworking skills, they made jewelry from many other materials. Fine men wore nose ornaments, hair plugs, and lip plugs made of bone. Wood shells, wood shells, and stone J topaz and bison. Of siding. And necklaces, bracelets, and ankles, and headgear. From a jaguar and crocodile teeth, jaguar claws and feathers, my woman and tor. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And coming up soon is Japanese fashion and German fashion. Or maybe coming in way earlier if you expect it. You may never know. Till then, see ya!